how to upload a video to YouTube from your computer in just a few steps. And if you stick around to the end of this video, I'm gonna share with you some simple tips and tricks for getting views on your new videos in 2022. So first things first, in your internet browser, head over to youtube.com and then log into your account. And before we start uploading, I want to show you how to apply some default settings to your uploads to save you time when posting a new video. Click on your account icon in the top right and select the YouTube studio. And once you're inside, select the settings icon in the bottom left. And then you want to find the upload defaults. So this is where you can save a YouTube upload template for each one of your videos. You can start by adding a default title in here, but you'll probably want to leave that blank because YouTube titles do vary quite a lot from video to video. But the description box underneath will be much more useful to set a template for. So for example, maybe you always want to include your other social media links in your YouTube description. If so, all you need to do is copy and paste them into this template like so, and they will automatically appear in every video description as you start uploading. Under that, you can set the visibility settings for your video. And I recommend setting this to private or unlisted so your video doesn't go public right away. And now underneath that, you have the option to add some default tags. So if you plan on making videos that are all within a certain genre or niche, there may be some specific tags that you can add in here that will be relevant to all of your video uploads. Now we can head over to the next section, which is the advanced settings. First of all, you have the option to add automatic chapters to your videos, which I'm gonna leave ticked, but we're gonna talk about that in a second. Underneath that, you can select your YouTube license, which in most cases will be the standard YouTube license. To the right of that, you can choose your genre or category. And some of your videos will vary from genre to genre, but most channels stick to one specific category. Scrolling down, you can then select your default video language, and you can also set the language for your description as well. And further down, you can also choose the settings for your comment section, and there are quite a few options within this menu. You can choose to allow all comments without approval. You could hold potentially inappropriate comments for review. You can hold all comments for review, or you can disable comments completely. And I'm gonna to choose to hold inappropriate comments for review. And the final option in this menu is this little tick box that will allow you to hide your video ratings if you want to. So if you don't want people to see how many likes you have on your video, then you can untick this box. But I'm gonna leave it as it is and press save. And now it's time to start uploading a video. Back in the Creator Studio or the YouTube homepage, it doesn't really matter, find the Create icon in the top right corner and that's this one with the little red camera. Selecting that is gonna show you two different options and we want to hit Upload Videos. Now on this next screen, we have a couple of different options. We can either drag and drop our video from our computer into this box or we can select files manually. So I'm gonna hit Select Files, find my video on my computer, select it and hit Open. And as you can see, the video has now started uploading and some of those video defaults that we set earlier have already appeared on screen. So now we just need to add all of the other information. Now I normally research and write my video titles and descriptions before I get to this stage, but I'm gonna show you some more of that process in a second. So I'm now gonna add my title to my upload. And as you can see, it's used a default title taken from the name of my video file. And I'm just gonna neaten that up a bit. I'm gonna call it how to upload a video to YouTube. And I'm also gonna go and copy and paste my pre-made description from a Word document. And I'll also paste that into the description box like so. Now inside the description box, you can also add some chapters to your video. And to do this, all you need to do is type in a time code and then write a title for each chapter next to it. You just need to make sure that your first chapter has the time code of 000, otherwise they won't appear on your videos and Google search has actually started using YouTube video chapters directly. So this can be a great way to get your videos found via search. If you scroll down under the description, you can see that you can add a custom thumbnail. All you need to do is select upload thumbnail, select your thumbnail from your computer and hit open and it will appear automatically like so. And you'll see that there are also three boxes here and that's gonna be three automatic thumbnails that YouTube will generate from your video. But I always recommend adding a custom thumbnail yourself. Next up, you can add your video to a playlist if you want to. You then need to let YouTube know if your content is specifically made for children. We make video tutorials, so it's not aimed at kids at all. So I'm gonna select the no, it's not made for kids. Now let's select the show more option. And here you need to let YouTube know if your video contains any paid promotions or sponsorships. And underneath that, you have the option to add automatic chapters to your video once again. I'm gonna leave that ticked, but it will only come into effect if I don't add chapters on my own. And then underneath that, we come onto tags. 
Now, tags used to be extremely important on YouTube, but the platform itself has played down their importance in the last few years. But I still recommend adding them into every upload, especially when they relate to the specific keywords that your video is targeting. And scrolling down after this, you can see that most of these other options have already been filled out by our upload defaults. There is another option here for setting your recording date and location, which may seem like a strange thing to have to put into your video, but YouTube must want to know for a reason. So I just recommend filling out as much of the metadata as you can. So I'm gonna set mine to today's date. And I'm gonna put the video location as United Kingdom. Underneath the license options that we've already set, you'll see there's a little tick box that says allow embedding. And if you tick this, this will allow other websites to embed your video onto their pages, which can be a great way to get your videos found. So I'm gonna leave that ticked. And of course, I also want to leave this other box ticked that will allow the video to be sent to my subscribers' feeds. If we scroll down again, you'll see that there is a new option for 2021, and this is to allow short sampling. So if you keep this box ticked, you're allowing other users on YouTube to take clips from your video to be used as YouTube Shorts. Now, this might sound a bit weird, but it can be a great way to get your videos found, so I'm gonna recommend keeping that ticked for now. And again, the category we've already filled out in the upload defaults, and we've also already set our comments options as well, so I'm gonna hit next. Now, if you are already monetized on YouTube, you will have a couple more tabs here in your video details page, but I'm assuming you already know how to fill those out if you've got to this stage of getting monetized. So I'm gonna move straight along to the video elements. And in here, you can add automatic subtitles, you can add an end screen to your video, and you can also add video cards. But my video is still uploading, so I'm gonna add those a bit later on, and we're just gonna hit next. We then come onto the checks tab, and all this does is check your video for any copyrighted content. My video looks fine, so I'm gonna press next. And now we come to our last option, which is the visibility settings, which we did already set in our upload defaults. But there is another cool option on this page. You can choose to schedule your video at a specific time on a specific date, just by using the drop down menus here. I'm just gonna leave mine unlisted like so, and then hit save. And once it's finished uploading, our video is good to go. But now, as promised, I want to show you how to increase your chances of getting views on your new uploads by using an SEO tool like TubeBuddy. SEO stands for Search Engine Optimization, and this is exactly what you need to do to increase your chances of getting views on the platform. You can download TubeBuddy as an extension to your browser for free, and you just need to grant it access to view all of the information on your YouTube channel. And once it's added, you'll see the red icon at the top of your YouTube studio like so. So now I'm gonna show you the process of how I do some keyword research for each of my uploads. All I'm gonna do is go over to content on the left-hand side and then open up any one of my videos. I'll just select this one here. And if I scroll down to the tag section, you'll see that there are now some TubeBuddy options here and I'm gonna open up the Keyword Explorer. So now you can use this search tool to find some useful keywords for your videos. So the video that I'm doing research for is about how to upload a video to YouTube and that's a great keyword or key phrase to get started with. So let's type that in there. So I'm gonna type in how to upload a video to YouTube and hit explore. And as you can see, TubeBuddy has rated this key phrase as excellent. So I definitely want to include that in my title, my description and my tags box. And from here, you should then search for more related keywords around this same topic write them all down in a Word document, and then add them to your tag section when you're uploading your video. And TubeBuddy will also suggest some extra keywords to you as well. When you're done and you've added your video keywords into your video details, you can then go ahead and open up the video page. And as you can see over on the right hand side, TubeBuddy has given me an SEO score. And the higher this number is, the more chance you have of your video being found via search. And now back on the video details page, we can now add those end screens by selecting the option here. Choose from one of the templates like so, then select a specific video from your channel that you want to link to at the end of your video. You can also move around the elements on screen like so, and you can select the timings for when they appear or disappear by clicking around in the timeline below, and you can choose any time within the last 20 seconds of the video. You can also add video cards in a very similar way. Choose the type of card you want to add, and then move around where you want it to appear in the video like so. And that is how to upload a video to YouTube in 2022. If you found this video useful, make sure you leave it a like and subscribe to the channel for more content just like this. And I'll see you guys in the next one.